Forget classy, we're going with convenience. Danielle Nottingham shows us what's behind the new trend for wine. Wine is rolling out a new look, and Andrew Jones of Field Recordings in Central California is one of the first winemakers to do it. Sounds like you're opening a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Jones started putting wine in cans back in 2013. Back then, it made up 5% of his business. Today, canned wine accounts for 40%. Why wine in a can? It's real simple. It's like simplicity. Um, you know, wine doesn't have to be so ceremonial. Canned wine currently makes up less than 1% of the market, but the growth has been explosive. Sales more than doubled over the last year from $6.4 million to $14.5 million. Sommelier Whitney Adams says wine in a can is portable, affordable, single serving, and a hit with millennials. I think that that's definitely the way that, that things are headed. Um, I think more and more, you know, every month or two, a new, a new wine comes out in a can. Single cans retail for as low as $5. At Field Recordings, it's about $8. Four packs and six packs are also available. It's not like you have to buy it that day and drink it that night. Can wine actually ages better than the bottles because there's no light hitting the product, so it keeps the product super fresh. Whether you want Pinot Noir or something bubbly, cheers. There's a variety in a can to quench the thirst of every wine lover. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Paso Robles, California.